Science at muling nagbabalik ang inyong engineer, Benong, upang bigyan kayo ng bagong lesson about time rates. So, hindi ko na papakatagalan. Let us read the first problem. A ladder, 15 feet long, leans against a vertical wall. If the lower end starts sliding horizontally at a rate of 3 feet per second, find how fast the top slides downward when it is 9 feet above the ground. A ladder, 15 feet long, leans against a vertical wall. If the lower end starts sliding horizontally at a rate of 3 feet per second, find how fast the top slides downward when it is 9 feet above the ground. Kuhain ko lang kalit ko. Okay, sabi sa problem, meron daw tayo vertical wall at may nakahilig um, nakahilig, may nakaling dyan na ladder. Na ang haba daw ng ladder natin is 15 feet long. Okay? And then may weight yung ladder. Hindi naman. Hindi to mechanics. Okay? So, ba at that time, meron tayong specific height. So, let us say Y. And may specific distance yung foot ng ladder or yung paanan ng ladder papunta dito sa wall. So, let's say this is X. Sabi, nag slide daw yung ladder natin. Ngayon, kung hindi nyo babasahin yung buong problem, hindi nyo madedetermine kung in-slide ba siya papunta dito or papunta dito. Okay? And then, sabi pa din sa problem, hanapin daw natin yung dy dt kung nag slide down. So, kung pababa to, eh di ibig sabihin papunta to dito. Okay? So, ang tendency ng ladder, magpunta dito. So, that is our dx dt na ang sabi, nag slide daw siya ng gano'ng katagal o gano'ng kabilis, 3 feet per second. So, 3 fps, feet per second. So, ang tendency, itong height na to ay sa pabawas. So, hanapin daw natin ang dy dt kapag yung distance mula dito hanggang dito sa floor ay 9 feet. Okay. So, kung titignan mo, di ba meron tayo na buong triangle at anong triangle yan? That is a right triangle because you have here a 90 degree angle. And kung merong right triangle, meron tayong Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem, hypotenuse, so that's 15 squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two sides. Okay? Trivia lang guys. Diba Pythagorean theorem? Bakit hindi siya Pythagorean law? So, let us talk about muna, konting trivia lang. Theorem versus law. Okay? Pag kasi sinabi natin guys na theorem, it is applicable on a certain scenario only. For example, Pythagorean theorem, katulad nito. Ang Pythagorean theorem ba ay magagamit mo sa lahat ng problem? or sa lahat ng types ng triangle? Di po ba hindi? Kasi, pag sinabi natin theorem nga, applicable lang yan at certain scenarios. So, for example, Pythagorean theorem, di ko alam spelling, sorry, Pythagorean theorem, Gorean theorem, this is only applicable for right triangles. While, kapag sinabi po natin cosine do, Lo, ibig sabihin, kahit anong types ng triangle, skalin, obtuse, right triangle, equiangular, equilateral triangle, pwedeng pwede po natin gamitin dahil yan ay isang lo. And actually, pwede mong maderive ang Pythagorean theorem from cosine lo. Okay, so yun lang yung trivia versus theorem and lo. So, back to this equation. We already have now a equation or an equation. We can now differentiate this with respect to time. So this is to be differentiated with respect to time. What's the derivative of constant? That is 0. Derivative of x squared, that is 2x. And do not forget dx dt. 
Kasi, with respect to time tayo, ay eh, x to, eh, di ba ga, parang nagdi-differentiate tayo explicitly. Derivative of 2y, of y squared, that is 2y times dy dt. And since pinapahanap to, i-transpose ko to other side. So, that is negative 2y times dy over dt equals 2x dx dt. And then, divide ko ng negative to to. Di ba magiging negative x dx over dt. So, we have now our working equation to find dy over dt. Tama? Okay, kung titignan natin guys. Wait lang, may nakalimutan ako. May y pala dito. So, negative x over y. So, kung titignan nyo, may binigay na sa ating y. Kasi ano daw yung value ng dy dt kapag 9 feet na tayo? May dx dt din tayo, which is 3 foot per second. Ang wala na lang tayo ay ang x. So, we have to find the value of x when y is 9. So, what is x when y is 9? Okay? Yung ladder natin, hindi naman magbabago yung haba niyan. 15 feet pa din yan. So, we use this equation. 15 squared is equal to x squared plus y squared na ang binigay ay 9. So, 9 squared. So, we can see that this is equal to 15 squared minus 9 squared. This is equal to 12 feet. So, we can now find our dy dt. So, dy over dt is equal to negative x, which is 12, over 9 times dx dt, which is 3. So, 3 over 9 is 3. 12 divided by 3, that is 4. So, do not forget the unit, negative 4 feet per second. And kung titignan nyo guys, observe natin, negative yung value natin. Kasi nga, pababa to. So, habang bumababa yung ladder, nababawasan yung height nun mula dito sa ground level. So, basically, magiging negative nga yung answer natin. Okay? Ito naman, sa pahaba naman to, kaya positive yung nakuha natin. In time rates, important din po yung signs. Important na i-take nyo into consideration kung increasing siya, decreasing, kung expanding or deflating. Kasi po, it will tell you kung magiging positive or negative yung inyong sagot. And if you have a figure, madali mong ma-figure out kung ano yung scenario na mangyayari. Actually guys, kapag nagsasolve ng problem, i-apply mo yan sa tunay na buhay para hindi ka nahihirapang i-imagine kung ano yung mga posibleng mangyari. Okay? Pero wag namang OA kasi lahat ng over ay hindi maganda. Tamang isip lang. Baka mamaya malagyan mo yan ng weight. Tapos may frictional force dito. Okay, wag na pong ganun. Math pa lang to, hindi pa to mechanics. Okay? So please copy. Moving on to the second problem. A balloon leaves the ground 20 meters from an observer, rises vertically at 2 meters per second. How fast is the angle of elevation of the line of sight changing after 10 seconds? A, bal a balloon leaves the ground 20 meters from an observer, rises vertically at 2 meters per second. How fast is the angle of elevation of the line of sight changing after 10 seconds? Okay? So, meron daw po tayong balloon. Dito. Let's say this is point A. Meron daw tayong balloon. At tumataas daw po yan ng 2 meter per second. Okay? Sinabi din sa atin na mula sa point A, meron ka ditong observer. Let's say this is point B na ang layo is 20 meters. Okay? Let's say, at this point, 
meron tayong certain angle. So, that is our theta. Di ba, pataas yung balloon. So, let's say, nandito naman tayo ngayon. Sabihin natin, theta prime yun. Or, di ba, kapag nandito lang, nakaganyan ka lang, tapos tumataas yung lobo, mas tumitingala ka din. Or mas tumi naglilin ka pataas. So, nagbabago yung angle of elevation natin. So, let's say, this is distance y, yung buong yan, this is 20 meters, and this is theta. Okay? By using trigonometric function, guys, we can say that tangent theta, di ba? So, katoa, opposite over adjacent. So, katoa, tangent theta is y over 20 meters. Kasi pag sinabi natin opposite side, yun yung katapat ng ating angle dito. Kung dito ako naglagay ng angle, let's say this is alpha, edi eh ito yung opposite side. Pero hindi po. Ang ginamit kong angle ay ito kasi nandito yung observer eh. Alam nga, dito ko iligay yung observer. Diba sabi nandun 20 meters. So, let, uh, so that is tangent theta equals opposite side which is y over adjacent 20 meters. Okay? And then, kuhain ko si angle. Paano ko kukuhain si angle? I-artan ko lang both sides. Artan dito, artan dito. Okay? Artan ng tangent theta, theta. Equals to artan of y over 20. Okay? By the way guys, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay yung pag-change ng angle with respect to time kapag daw ang time natin or yung time elapsed ay 10 seconds. Okay? So, we already have our working equation. So, we can start differentiating it with respect to time. So, let us differentiate this with respect to time. Derivative of theta with respect to time, that is d theta over dt. Okay? Paano kapag arc tangent? Recall, guys, na if ipadidifferentiate sa atin ang arc tangent of u, that is equal to 1 over 1 plus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay? So, in our case, this is equal to 1 over 1 plus u squared. So, that is y over 20 squared times du dx. So, anong derivative ng y over 20? Parang may pinapaderivative lang sa'yo na x over 20. Di ba yan ay equal sa 1 over 20? Yung pag-derivative natin. So, times 1 over 20. Times, dinerivative ko yung y with respect to time, di ba? Implicit. So, maglagay ako dito ng ty dt. Okay? So, meron na akong d theta over dt. Meron na akong working equation para masolve ko to. Ang tanong, meron na ba tayong y? Wala pa. Hindi pa po binigay sa atin yung distance after 10 seconds. Pero, pwede natin yung masolve. Bakit? Kasi di ba sabi, tumataas yung lobo 2 meter per second. So, kung lumalabas yung, ah, kung tumataas yung lobo ng 2 meter per second, malalaman natin kung gano'n na siya kataas after 10 seconds. Okay? So, distance is just velocity times time. So, as you can see, 2 times 10, that is 20. So, yan na yung value ng y natin, 20 meters. So, after 10 seconds, nakataas na pala yung lobo na dalawang pong metro. So, d theta over dt is equal to 1 over 1 plus, what is the value of y? 20. So, 20 over 20 squared times 1 over 20 times dy dt mga oh, malito kayo, dy dt which is 2 meter per second. 
So, this is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1. 1 over 1 plus 1, kasi magiging 1 lang naman to, times 1 over 20, times 2. So, that is equal to 1 over 20. D theta over dt. Ang tanong, anong unit natin ngayon? Degree ba? Or radian? Kapag nag-differentiate tayo, that will be radian per second. Hindi po degree. Okay? Kaya kung gagamit kayo ng calcium, make sure kayo ay magre-radian. Okay? So, this is our d theta over dt. Ha? Ganito yan. May lobo ako na gantong kataas, titingala ako ng gantong kataas. Kapag mas lumipad pat pataas, titingala din ako ng mas mataas. Kaya may changing yung angle. Titingala, ibig sabihin, paano bang ibang word doon? Mas maglilin ka yung head mo. Okay? Batanggay niya 101. So, please copy. We're down to the last problem. A balloon is rising vertically over point A on the ground at a rate of 15 feet per second. A point B on the ground level is 30 feet from point A. When the balloon is 40 feet from A, at what rate is its distance changing from B? A balloon is rising vertically over point A on the ground at a rate at, of 15 feet per second. A point B is on the ground level and is 30 feet from A. When the balloon is 40 feet from A, at what rate is its distance from B changing? Okay? So, sabi, meron daw tayo ditong point A and at this point, may tumataas daw tayong lobo so, let's say this is distance y. May tumataas tayong lobo na anong rate? Ang rate daw natin ay 15 feet per second. 15 fps. Tapos, on this ground level daw, meron daw tayong point B na ang layo is 30 feet from A. Okay? Tapos, Di ba may distance tayo mula B hanggang dun sa posisyon ng balloon? Ngayon daw, gaano kabilis nagbabago yung distance na yan kapag daw ang taas ng lobo mula sa point A ay 40 feet. Okay? Kasi di ba guys, let's say at this point, nandito yung lobo, may certain distance S tayo. Let's say S1. Kapag nandito na yung lobo, let's say this is S2, ba mag-iiba na yung layo ng lobo mula doon sa point B. So, yung tinatanong sa atin ay yung bilis ng pagbabago ng distance na yun. Kasi alam naman natin time rates to, ba Mga nagbabago to sa panahon, sa oras. Okay? With respect to time nga kasi, kaya po time rates. Okay? So, kung i-observe natin guys, meron po tayong mababuo dito ng right triangle. Diba right triangle to? Okay? So, 30, Y, tapos this is distance S. Okay? So, by Pythagorean theorem, this is equal to S squared equals 30 squared plus Y squared. So, I have already our working equation. And if I already have our working equation, we can now start differentiating this with respect to time. Okay? Derivative of S squared, that is 2S. Pero, implicit nga tayo, kaya maglagay ka ng ds dt. Next, What's the derivative of constant? Wala. Magzi-zero lang yan kasi constant tayo. And then, derivative of y squared, that is 2y times dy over dt. 
Yung sinabing pagtaas ng lobo, yun yung dy dt natin. Okay? So, masasolve ko na ba dito yung ds dt? Well, some sort of, sort of, kasi meron na tayong distance y, may dy dt na din tayo. Unfortunately, wala pa tayong s. And kung titignan mo yung equation, pwede pa natin isimplify. Okay, i-divide ko to ng 2s para ang matitira na lang dito ay ds dt. So, meron na lang tayo ay y over s times dy over dt. Okay, tandaan nyo, pinapahanap si ds dt kapag daw ang y natin ay 40 feet. So, we need to find the value of s kapag ang y ay 40. And ano na yung gagamitin mo? Itong Pythagorean theorem pa din. So, s squared is equal to 30 squared plus y squared. Let us solve this when y is equal to 40 feet. Okay? So, that is 30 squared plus 40 squared. Extract ko na yung root. So, s is equal to 50 feet. Ganun lang kung kadali. So, ds over dt is equal to y, which is 40, s, which is 50, times 15. Okay? So, this is equal to 12 foot or 12 feet per second. So, ganyang kabilis ang, pagla ang paglaki ng distance mula balloon papuntang point B. Which is in real life, pwedeng maging ganito nga naman yung posible mong value kung ineneglect mo yung air resistance. Kasi kapag may air resistance, pwedeng magpapunta pa dito yung lobo. Pero itinit lang natin, mathematics nga, na diretso lang yung pagtaas nga. Okay? Diretso lang. Okay? So, peace copy. So, ayun guys, sana may natutunan kayo sa part 1 and part 2 ng video ko. Actually, madaming types ng time rates problem, pero ito yung mga pinakamadalas lumabas. So, it is for you to explore more problems para ma-challenge po kayo. Okay, so, comment down lang kung may gusto kayong itanong, pag may gusto kayong ipasolve, at may video tutorial request kayo. Okay, so, share ko lang sa inyo yung lagi kong pinapaniwalaan, yung kung yung motto ko, um, always push the limits and create new boundaries. Make your future better than your past. Big sabihin, kung kaya mo mag-solve ng 100 problems ngayon, why don't make it 101 tomorrow? Okay? Ang mahalaga, may nagiging improvement ka day by day. Huwag kang magsisettle na ito lang yung kaya mo, dapat mas mataas pa. Okay? At kung naabot mo to, do more para mas maabot mo pa yung pinakamataas. At kung nag-fail ka, huwag mong isipin na natalo ka. Kasi, you learn something from it, gamitin mo yun para makarating ka ulit doon. Okay, so guys, again, I am Engineer Arvin Benong Babo Aldover, ang inyong Engineer Kabarikan. Okay, so bye-bye!